Hi, my name is Sue. Let's start today's Dino Squad. Today's topic is introduction and gameplay about Curie. Let's enjoy and smile. Have you already get Curie? She is so strong. Of course Dominus and Nobel is stronger than her. The strong points are high health and force shield health. At initial level, health is about 170,000 and force shield health is about 50,000. Also her weapon range is 500 meters. So she can attack enemies anywhere. DPS is same as Dominus's initial level. Okay. Let's check the battle of her in Gold League. The first damage is a little low. You will need to hit the enemy several times for the mark damage effect to occur. Curie's weapon laser is too slow. So you'd better to predict enemy's direction and fire to the direction. It's hard to hit to small Dino because the speed of small Dino is little quick. There is no damage of your health and recovered. She is very weak when she is surrounded. So if there is Curie in enemy team, let's attack with team A together. Against small Dino, it's good to use roar skill to do damage and slow down the enemy. It's easy to defeat. Basically, the good strategy for Kyrie is always have distance from enemies. Also, Kyrie's damage does not cause much damage unless the laser hits the enemy firmly. You can earn damage by adjusting the position so that all the lasers hit. Kyrie is Covenant Faction. So she can do great damage for Legion Faction. Easy to defeat Locust without any equipment at initial level. Wow. It was about 74,000 damage per one shot to Monarch. Also she can do more damage to Legion that is Carapace. However she cannot do much damage to Order Faction. So it's better to aim to attack Legion in Covenant. It's hard to defeat small Dino being under the foot. So if possible, you may have discharge skill to avoid this situation. Okay. So let's check the battle in Master League. Savannah is good map for Curie. Because her laser can hit multi-enemies through central area. In the case of the savannah, it is good to shoot from the center position toward the enemy's home area. This is because enemies usually come out of the central area. Therefore, it is easy for the attack to hit multiple enemies. Strong Curie can do damage more than 100,000 per one shot against Legion faction like Monarch. Using Roar skill is same strategy as Gold League to give slow down to enemies and easy to defeat small Dino. You'd better to attack continuously to same enemy. 
because the effect of mark damage continues. This is same as other Covenant faction Dino like Nobel. As you may know, Curie's laser can hit enemies passing other enemy and teammate. Other Dino like Dominus and Nobel sometimes are disturbed by other enemy or teammate when attacking enemies. Kiri is not good at fighting in short range. So you better always to aim to defeat a enemy that is approaching. If you are attacked by enemy, it's good to move back to leave a enemy. Then you won't be attacked, but you can attack with long range weapon. It's good. I can hit multi enemies. Scorcher has short range weapon. So you don't need to care about Scorcher if you have a distance from Scorcher. You also don't need to care about small dinos since the damage of small weapon is basically low. I think that you better to focus on other large dino instead of small dino. If there is Curie in your teammate, let's kill small dinos that is under Curie's foot and help her. Now Dominus is approaching, so let's escape from him. His damage is terrible for Curie. It's good to hide enemies Curie to avoid Dominus's attack. Perhaps Curie's attack will do little damage if you attack from the side of the enemy. I think that penetrating from the head to the tail can cause great damage. It's good strategy to aim to hit multi enemies even in this case. Because continuous damage can interrupt a recovery enemy's health. So it's good effect even at its small damage. Roar skill is also good to interrupt the enemy recovery their health. In this case, you can also defeat a small Dino while hindering Dominus recovery. If you have dome skill, it's good to use dome after your force shield is broken. You can avoid to be reduced to real health. If you have less force shield, it's good action to leave from enemies to recover your force shield. But please don't forget to continuously shoot enemies, otherwise an enemy will recover.
I'm attacking Dominus with one hand. So let's move to attack with both hands to earn more damage. Hmm. It's hard to break the tower from only this position. You need to move over the tower to break the tower. Dominus can break a tower easier than Kiri. Easy to earn much damage to Monarch. Wow. I found that Curie's laser can fly in the sky. It's great. Normally Curie can get many number of count of assists. That's all for today. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and give it a high rating. Stay tuned for my next video. Thank you for your watching.